They say that in space, no one can hear you scream, but you won't have to worry about that. Coming this summer, an action disaster movie like you've never seen before. Chris Helmsworth, Chris Pratt, Chris Evans, Chris Pine, Chris Cross, Robert Downey Jr., Jason Momoa, Dwayne Johnson, Ryan Reynolds, Benedict come on snatch. I mean Bendy Dick Bandergrafts. Ah, Benedict Cumberbatch, Tom Holland, and a bunch of old guys still pretending to be relevant action heroes like Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger. When we needed them most, they answered the call. Gentlemen. As Prime Minister of Canada, allow me to welcome you to this meeting. We have called upon you because only you can save the human race from the greatest threat we've ever known. You are the ultimate team of soldiers with your well-developed abs, your chiseled faces, and your rock-solid asses. Women everywhere love and trust you and so should we. Without you, we will all perish. So I call upon you, I ask you, I beg you, please, save you when there's no one else to turn to. On tonight's episode, we present to you a case so bizarre that science can offer no explanation, the authorities can give no solutions for, and the majority of us have laid witness to. This is Abnormal Paranormal. investigation is no different. It may shock you, but most of all it will leave you asking two questions. Was this case merely just coincidence? Chance luck? A normal occurrence? Or was there something more to this case? Something far more sinister and dark? Something strange and unexplainable and undefined in human terms? Prepare yourselves as we begin. It was an ordinary Monday afternoon for Elizabeth Bushpatch, as she carried out her daily chores. From mopping floors to cleaning dishes, the day was progressing naturally, a seemingly normal existence for any North American housewife. It wasn't until it came time to do the laundry that things took an almost ominous turn. She made her way to the basement, 
as she had so many times before, only today, some eerie force was hidden in the shadows waiting to strike. She placed the clothing into the washing machine just as her mother had always shown her, and returned upstairs to enjoy a hot cup of coffee, a routine she had developed over the years. She said goodbye to her husband, Rusty Bushpatch, as he left for work. This would prove to be the last normal conversation they had that day. Her chore progressed as usual, with her transferring the laundry into the dryer, and then bringing all the clothes back upstairs when it was done. It was now, as she was folding her laundry that disaster struck. What was once a regular everyday occurrence had now become something far more alien. Fear and panic overcame her as she realized the sock she was holding in her right hand had no match. She frantically searched the pile of clothes, the floor, even gathering the courage to look under the bed. She ran downstairs to once again try and find this missing sock, but it was not to be found in the washing machine or the sinister canister of death we call a dryer. The Bermuda Triangle of Laundry itself stood there looking innocent, yet behind that facade lurked some unknown life form. Elizabeth never recovered from this incident, and to this day still experiences this terror, this abnormal paranormal activity. So now you have to ask yourself, was this just mere coincidence or a chance encounter with some alien force we do not know? These socks were never seen nor heard from again, and the government denies any and all knowledge of their existence. Is this just simply coincidence, nothing more than a missing sock, a comfortable foot warmer as it were, or are there darker forces at work? some sinister network of aliens, some cloth novors attacking you when you least expect it. Well, that's for you to decide. Join us next week on our next episode of Abnormal